Hello everyone, Sunny here and welcome back to another Bedrock Edition tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to build a very simple, cheap, and really reliable sugarcane farm in your Bedrock Edition worlds. This is a fully automatic design, you just flick the lever and you get a whole bunch of sugarcane basically instantly. This farm can also be modified to work with bamboo and kelp as well, using very little if no modifications to the actual farm itself. Overall, this is a very, very reliable little design, and I think you will greatly enjoy this in your Bedrock Edition worlds. This is perfect for those of you who want a quick and easy supply of crops instantly, and you don't want to wait around for a farm to grow them naturally. These easy little farms are basically lossless as well due to how we're harvesting them with the pistons. We're pushing both the top and the middle section of the plant all the way forward and that makes it so that they fall directly into the hoppers and then go into your chest. As you can see, it's actually filling up our chest and about to fill up our hoppers as well. This thing really, really does produce a lot of sugarcane very, very quickly. Comparing these farms to one another, you'll see that they are all basically identical. So the sugarcane farm is, of course, the base model, and this thing is super dead simple. The redstone could not be simpler, really. I mean, I'm sure it could, but I'm, I'm not that big brain. Anyway, as you can see, we got ourselves a repeater clock right here. This will power all of your pistons, and then it will also power the redstone down here to power your dispensers for your bone meal. Super simple, super straightforward, not really much to it. The bamboo model is exactly the same, but, you know, uses bamboo instead of sugarcane. And then as for the kelp model, this one is slightly different. We only have two pistons, so that the water from above can reform down below, and we are slowing down the entire design. You may notice that the other clocks are on one tick, the kelp farm has to be on four ticks, and we need some additional delay down below for the activation of the dispensers as well, simply because water reforming is actually a pretty slow thing. As you can see, it takes a while. If this kind of small bone meal powered farm isn't your style, may I suggest a much larger flying machine based farm? I have a tutorial for a sugarcane, bamboo, and kelp version of this exact farm that you see before you here. Of course, this takes up a lot more room, like dozens of times more room, but it doesn't use any bone meal at all. It uses a very reliable flying machine that has not broken since it has been invented and of course it is just a super cool kind of farm. This is especially good for bamboo. If you want yourself like a million bamboo, literally build that farm. Don't mess around with bone meal, build yourself a flying machine based version and it's also really good for kelp as well. So if you're interested in these much larger versions of these farms, links will be down in the description of the video. Also, I do have a design in the works for a non-bone meal powered, non-flying machine version of a kelp, bamboo, and sugarcane farm. That might be on the channel sometime in the next month or so, so stay tuned for that. This tutorial is part of my advent calendar for December of 2020, so every single day in December I'm releasing a brand new tutorial on the channel, some sort of farm contraption or redstone thing for you guys to build in your worlds. If you are enjoying this video and enjoying these series thus far, then of course make sure to leave a like on the video, it significantly helps out the video and the channel a ton of course. And also if you're new here and you want to see a lot more videos on the channel, then consider subscribing of course, we are only half way through as of recording, so there is a lot more farms on the channel to come. And of course, no tutorial is complete without giving you the rates of the farm being shown. So for sugarcane, you'll get 36,000 sugarcane per hour, and that'll use 18,000 bone meal. So of course, you need four times hopper speed item collection for 36,000 items per hour, and that's exactly what we have installed here with no hopper minecarts, so this is extremely easy and pretty cheap to build as well. Now the reason why it only uses 18,000 bone meal only <laughs> is because every time you bone meal a sugarcane plant it'll get two extra sugarcane on top of it. So it'll go from one tall to three tall with a single piece of bone meal. Now moving over to a bamboo it is a different story. You get 18,000 bamboo per hour and that uses 18,000 bone meal. Every single bone meal gets you one bamboo which is kind of helpful for math. <laughs> and then with the kelp it is a different story as well because this farm 
farm is four times slower than the other farm. So this will get you 4,500 kelp per hour using 4,500 bone meal per hour. So if you want like a lot of kelp, again, you should probably build like the omega size farm or you can build a couple of these guys in a row to get a lot of kelp. And let's hop into the tutorial, shall we? For the standard build, this is gonna be a four block wide by six long area. It's gonna be four blocks above the ground and two blocks below the ground. For the kelp version, you're gonna need one extra block off of the backside. And if you're curious what materials you need to build, there is of course a full materials list down in the description of the video for your convenience. We're gonna start off in the front of the build area, go in by three blocks and place in two grass, dirt, sand, whatever you wanna do for your crops to be grown on. Behind that, we're gonna place in two dispensers like so, and then four pistons above it in these locations right here. We're now going to swing around the backside and place in some blocks and this general shape right here. It's kind of like an X, but it's missing this lower block in the corner. So just go ahead and place in those four blocks. Place in a redstone torch right here, redstone dust right there, and a repeater facing into this block. You now want a block to the side of that torch and one above it. And then finally, one piece of redstone dust right there. And that should start clocking the entire system. Go ahead and place a lever on the side of this block right here, and that will turn off your entire redstone clock. We now want to swing around to the back side and place in a redstone torch right here as well. Place in two pieces of redstone dust, remove these two blocks right here, and then place in a repeater going into both of those to activate your bone meal dispensers. And now we need to build up the walls around this farm simply to contain all the crops and keep them from flying away. So use solid blocks or glass blocks on these sides, three blocks tall on both sides, and then you want four slabs above the build to keep items from flying out the top side. And now we need to install our item collection. If you're planning on using this for bamboo, all you need to do is remove these two blocks, put in a double chest, remove these two blocks, and put in two hoppers going directly into it. Then go ahead and put stairs upside down and then put in some glass blocks right there. That would be your bamboo farm complete. We can go ahead and test this out by putting in some bamboo, turning it on, of course put some bone meal on your dispensers, and as you can see it's all good to go. Now we can go ahead and do the sugarcane storage. This is going to be a little bit more complicated simply because it needs to be four times hopper speed. So what you want to do is put your double chest down here at this layer like so, go back behind it, remove these two blocks, put a hopper going into the back of the chest, two hoppers going directly down into that chest, and then two hoppers facing into these ones like so, and that is going to be your four times item speed. If you remove these two blocks, you can open that chest like so. Anyway, you now need to go ahead and crouch and place a water source inside of each one of these two hoppers right here. That way you can then plant in your sugarcane. Plant in your sugarcane, put a wall on the front of this build, activate your lever and now you have a very very fast sugarcane farm in your bedrock edition worlds of course if you want yourself an automatic bone meal input for either your bamboo or your sugarcane farm put in a hopper right there a chest right there and then do that on both sides. You can of course expand this to be a double chest. You can have like a million double chests going into this. Whatever you wanna do it is entirely up to you. And now we need to turn this farm into a kelp farm. So if you want to use this farm for kelp, the first thing to do is remove these two pistons right here and just replace them with glass or solid blocks or really whatever you wanna do. Now we're gonna flip around to the backside and modify the redstone. So first of all, remove this redstone torch this piece of redstone dust and then remove this block and put your piece of redstone dust back down right there. Place in your redstone torch right here, put in your repeater right here on four ticks and then put a solid block in front of it like so. Also make sure that both of these repeaters down here are on four ticks and make sure this repeater up top is also on four ticks as well. Every single one of them should be on full delay. If we flick this now, we should see this activate much slower, and this will give the water time to reform and allow the kelp to grow. Anyway, we're gonna turn that back off now and place in our storage chest. So our storage chest is gonna go right here with two hoppers behind it like so, and then we're gonna have some upside down stairs above that so that we can actually open up the chest. 
Now we need to go ahead and place blocks above that, break into this wall right here, and get yourself a couple of buttons. Place buttons at both of these layers, like so, just to hold the water back so that it doesn't flow forward. We're going to place in a block right here and bust out the water. Be careful how you place this. You don't want to flood your redstone. So place in a block of water there and there. Place water down here at the bottom in front of the dispensers. And then that is it. You can now go ahead and plant in your kelp in front of your dispensers. Fill in your wall blocks. Churn on the farm. And you should see this activate perfectly. And as you can see, everything is now going into the chest just easy. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this super basic sugarcane, bamboo, and kelp farm, then please do let me know in the comment section down below. I'm always trying to help you guys out as best as I possibly can. Also, if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see a whole bunch more of them in the future, then of course, support the channel and the video by leaving a like or possibly sharing this around with your friends. Doing those things has a massive impact. Thank you so very much for doing that. And if you want to see all of my newest videos personally, then make sure to subscribe. Subscribing is the best way to see all my new farms and contraptions first before anybody else can. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's Bedrock Edition tutorial. Thank you again so much for watching. I'll see you guys down in the comment section and in the next one. And then there was silence.